Here we are at the Scream Fest with John Kellick. John was telling me about a project he's going, got going, and I um, thought I'd uh, talk with him quick and get him uh, to tell me about it on camera. Okay, uh, what I was talking about earlier was uh, the television, graphic novel, and novel project Luna, which is a new takeoff and completely game-changing lore uh, difference. Uh, different lore for werewolves. Uh, this is project initially started several years ago when, just like everyone else, we got tired of seeing too many vampires. And the werewolf was always kind of under, under gratified and under utilized. So in this universe, in this concept, we, I completely Werewolves are the only thing that exists. There's no vampires. There's no zombies. It's the, it's the only thing that you can that's there. And I the only paranormal. The only paranormal. And it is based off of a completely different concept than just being only supernatural. It has supernatural uh, components components to it, but it's not just a supernatural based reason for being werewolves. So. Uh, other other people ha that are starting to look at the project and said one it's uh, as of right now we are doing the novel portion and it's already in process with Blake Northcott she's the uh, writer and she's adapting Luna from my writings uh, to uh, to a novel she done the novel uh, versus reality which is a uh, supernatural based and uh, an action comic adventure base. Uh, the next step is going to a graphic novel which is uh, now farmed out to a uh, production company uh, and from there we're anticipating in the January and February time frame to start the negotiations for Luna to move into to full production as a TV series. Excellent. And I'm uh, co uh, co partnered with uh, Randy Goodwin from The Vampire Diaries. And he came in at, at, after I brought him into the project, like I did Blake. And from there, it has just moved uh, upward and onward and quick since then. Very cool. Um, you also mentioned that you're going to. You've got somebody working on a video game for it. Yeah. Uh, in in scripting, the other things, uh, I, I've started to learn the power of comics and video games and graphics uh, more. As I've seen, uh, my my daughter, for example, plays video games constantly, uh, reads graphic novels and comics. Uh, so I looked into it and uh, and have adapted on standby to uh, make this as a, uh, a first per first person shooter game and a role playing video game. Excellent. Use utilizing all the concepts of media, so we get this is a franchise more than anything and. Uh, it's been said that it uh, it's a a twilight level game changer for werewolves. Very cool. Um, so you're looking at going into production in January, February, if everything goes well. If everything goes well, right now the TV ser the TV series concepting is uh, it's it has it's the pilots completed uh, written completely written. It has uh, the full 22 first uh, long season episodes outlines written. The concept is good. We're uh, seeking out different, um, of course, uh, Randy Goodwin is going to be uh, one of the major characters on the series. Uh, we're also bringing in other talent. I can't really name who's on it now, but if you've watched enough, enough uh, Whedon-esque TV shows, you would have no problem seeing a couple of the uh, characters we're going after. Whedon-esque? Are you we talking Josh? We Josh? Yes. Yeah. So awesome. Look back. Look at. Look back on some of his shows, and uh, you may find the same characters in, a, in a running into here. Not characters, same actors, actresses. Right, right, right. Like that, I get it. That are looking forward to that. That's awesome. I. I uh, this this is new news. It's not something you mentioned earlier. So, uh, so uh, very cool. Uh, we're just starting to put it out. Uh, just starting to put out some of the press uh, for the books and the novels. So, uh, 
we're just working it up bit by bit. So do you think you might be ready for the fall 2012 season? I uh, hope and so. Excellent. And when would the graphic novel come out? Graphic novels looking um, no later than January. Mm -hmm. January, uh, hope, hope, hopefully beginning in December. So uh, the novel's going to be coming out. Uh, we've already put some of the uh, press releases, and I'll be sure to get you one uh, for the not the standard novel uh, to be put out in uh, paperback and uh, on Kindle and Amazon stuff like that. Uh, the graphic novel should be looking to roll in uh, hopefully within le mid early December time frame to be out there for seeing any pending you know, dramatic changes or catastrophes. Right. So. Um, is it okay if I ask you about a couple other things you've been working on? Sure, sure. I, uh, I know you were involved in Isle of the Dogs. I, um, at the very, very beginning process, but it actually went to another direction. Tam Tammy, the director who you interviewed right, right, earlier, right. It, they went another direction. I worked on something else while she continued to work uh -huh. on that. But yeah, I, I, this, it's fun to, to get to read the script two years ago, and then it's at, it's being shown here. Um, and, and try to you know try that's one of the projects that you try to work up and. Uh, not every time it goes your way, but it went her way with uh, with this on her own. Um, we're also looking at uh, another film that she's uh, written and directed, and uh, I'll be both uh, appearing on screen and um, working in a production capacity f uh, called Welcome to Graveland. Before you go on to Welcome to Graveland, mm -hmm. um, uh, the reason I brought up the the Isle of the Dogs, mm -hmm. or Isle of Dogs, was because I would meant to ask Tammy a question, like, sure. where you got the title, and you were able to answer it for me. So could you fill me in the uh, fill in the blank on that? Yes, uh, Isle of Dogs is a island in the middle of the Thames, which is notorious for British gangster nor. So you have your LA LA gangster nor. That's their area. So that er that area is synonymous with British gangsters. So if you're going to have gangster killings, as in as in the movie, yeah, uh, extensively in the movie, uh, the gangster killings. Yeah, if you're going to have a gangster like Darius, he's going to be from Isle of Dogs, wow. or could be from Isle of Dogs. Okay, now go ahead and tell me uh, about the, uh, forgive me, uh, the gra uh, Welcome to Graveland? Welcome to Graveland, yeah. That's, uh, um, that's as I said, that is written by Tammy Sutton and, and Pinion B. Di directed also, and it's uh, um, a heist thriller adventure movie, uh, so more a heist than a thriller uh, film, so you see at the level that she's already produced with uh, oh, with Isla Dogs. Beautiful cinematography. I'm telling you, uh, amazing. Uh, so you're looking at uh, a film that would uh, rival and and exceed that. Amazing. And, um, also, uh, she's uh, on board for a feature film that I've written that's based on my family legend, the Bell Witch legend. Uh -huh. uh, when I'm last living one of the last living direct descendants um it's uh called katie is that regarding dublin no no that's uh actually it is it does have irish lore in it but the um the the story itself actually takes place in biloxi starts in, oh, in really? biloxi in, t in tennessee so oh, you guys were able to get the it's uh it's a southern uh southern lore and uh, a 200-year-old legend that comes to life for a Biloxi police detective. Very cool. So I took uh, some aspects of uh, about 80% of my family's story and wrote it into a fictionalized screenplay. Very cool. So, a lot of stuff going on. No doubt. Is there any one thing that you can uh, close out the interview with that would be just totally awesome and amazing if I could think of the question to ask? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, like I said, we uh, initially on Luna. Uh, Luna, I'm really excited about this because uh, as we move from, from novel to graphic novel to television series, all the way up to 
film. There's actually two associated written films that would, would play, in, play into this and uh, an associated comic series. And, um, pot, and then we mentioned the video game section that will come later at the right timing. But like I said, it's a, it's a franchise. You know, it, it, it's going to change the werewolf lore and the werewolf story completely. So, it'll be interesting. With a 24 type gritty edge conspiracy type storyline. Very cool. Well, John, I really appreciate the time you've spent together with me, both on this and Isle of the Dogs, and... and uh, I wish you well, and I'm looking forward to seeing it on TV. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, talking with you, too. Um, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you.